Hey guys, Cheese Chubby here. How are we doing today? So today I've come out with something very interesting. Now I spotted this on Kickstarter, and of course Kickstarter is interesting because a lot of people come up with some very interesting stuff. There's some stuff on there which is genuinely the most amazing things I have ever seen in my entire life. It's just that they need funding to get out there. And of course I am a technology guy. Okay, I have a degree in computer science. Okay, I'm just saying. Okay, you got to be enthusiastic about technology to be a computer scientist. Okay, and so I go on Kickstarter now and again to take a look at what the inventions that they come up with. You know how it. You know how they get out there you know so very interesting and one of the things that I spotted which is actually applicable to Yu-Gi-Oh and any kind of card game whatsoever is called the scroll play now you see this guy here with a very questionable haircut right um, he came up with this this deck box play mat all in one thing now of course you're wondering what is this random thing here like what, what, what's going on with this like what is this thing right is this ridiculous it is <laughs> What's the point? But turns out this thing is actually one of the most amazing things I have ever seen in Yu-Gi-Oh accessories ever. I think in my opinion if it gets the funding it needs it's going to revolutionize the playmat deck box Yu-Gi-Oh going to tournament experience more so than anything else I've ever seen before. So let's have a look, quick look at this. You can see that it's already got $25,000 pledged out of 63000 So that's really, really decent and that's obviously 24 days to go. It's very, very possible that he could, he could definitely make it. And if he does go, if he falls slightly short of that, I think it would still be an amazing thing to produce. In small numbers, that's okay, but the guy's asking for a fair amount of money for it. So anyway, so look, we've got this, um, this thing. So obviously you can see here, it's basically a, a play mat. So the play mat rolls around this cylindrical tube and inside the tube, you can see that it's uh, connected by metallic buttons here. So these keep the whole thing closed. And therefore, you can unclasp these metallic things, and then you can, magnets, sorry, and you can unroll it into this. So it rolls into a playmat. And then you're wondering, okay, so you've got this random rolled up playmat. I roll up my playmat, so what's the point? So as you go along, it turns out that the inside of this thing is actually a deck box holder. Right, so you have the play mat wrapped around it, but inside you have three trays for which you can hold everything that you need. This guy who actually makes this make this thing, um, he plays Magic the Gathering, so you're gonna need a hell of a lot of dice to keep hold of your your life points. But in Yu-Gi-Oh, you don't need the dice so much, just to go, just to see who goes first and wins. We've got the deck box. He's also got dice, and he's also got some kind of deck dividers or scoreboard. Basically, three trays in the middle, and then you can have a de um, have a uh, magnetic play mat that wraps around it and therefore it actually keeps everything really folded up nice and neat so that you can actually chuck it into your into your backpack at the end of every time you play a game and that was one thing that stopped me from wanting to attend tournaments was the fact that I wanted to have to roll up my play mat put it back in get my deck box put it back in everything else that I had chuck it back in but this thing actually turns all of that into a really very very little hassle completely so it's really really awesome to see that someone's actually come up with something that just takes every single thing that you need to play a card game and just convert it into a nice cylindrical tube really awesome so this whole thing can be stashed away in a bag held as if as as would like one would like to carry around in a fat fat pack box or even held with a scrap connected to any of its ends basically saying that you can do whatever you want with this thing and it's really really durable you can see that it's measuring roughly around 13 centimeters in width so that's really really awesome you know you can see there's a pen for scale you can see some dice and deck box really awesome stuff so much room for activities you know this thing just goes on and on the guy is very very keen about it now of course you're wondering you know a white play mat like you know okay we've got our white sleeves we're already pros how why we want to have a white play mat that's a bit boring turns out that the guy is going to be releasing them in multiple different colors as not just those you can obviously mix and match the actual insides so you can have them whatever color you want if you're from a specific country you can have them uh, relevant to the um, country flag that you come from so if you have Italy you can have your uh your Italian colors, French colors, exact anything you want. So that's really awesome. And you can see here that someone he's actually commissioned someone to go and make some playmats that are actually going to be equipped with these metallic, these magnetic buttons which can wrap around the tube. So you can see here there's obviously stuff relevant to Magic the Gathering. There's the islands, there's the swamp or jungle, whatever. So that's really awesome, right? So you can see here that he's obviously being a bit cheeky here and actually wrap, you know, slinging it around his back as if he's some kind of Japanese. Uh, schoolboy or something we don't want you know to do with that you know but you want to chuck it into your bag and it looks to me like it will fit without much effort so that's good so you got this strap which um, which is an additional thing to have onto it so it doesn't seem like it takes any space um, all this really awesome stuff so he's obviously commissioning more designs 
Point is, though, is that this thing seems to me like one of the best things I've ever seen in Yu-Gi-Oh! or any kind of trading card game accessory thing I've ever seen in my life. I think it's fantastic. I think I'm surprised that no one's ever come up with this before. And honestly, if you want to see this, make it to your tournament and your area, you should be supporting these things because these are the kind of things that change how Yu-Gi-Oh! is played. It has a knock-on effect on how many people attend tournaments, how many people are willing to go out and actually enjoy Yu-Gi-Oh! rather than just playing online because this kind of thing is really important. It keeps the Yu-Gi-Oh! community strong, any kind of card game really, really strong. So I would recommend if you really like this kind of thing, for you to go and pledge something like $10 because it will make all the difference for this guy. He's actually made $100 pledge in the last in the last two minutes that I've been recording this or so. So that's really awesome. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Comment down below your opinions and I'll link you guys to the Kickstarter page down below. So go and check that out. So thanks for watching guys and until next time, the Tishti Lover is out.